Hello, I'm Crafty Patty, and thanks for joining me to find out how to knit an easy ribbed hat. We will be knitting in the round, but don't go, oh, it's okay, it's going to be easy. I'm going to show you how you knit the round together, and then you just keep knitting round and round and round until you've got this nice big tube, and in the end, you don't have to sew in any seams, so it looks beautiful all the way around. Stay with me. I'm going to show you how to do this step by step and then you'll have a wonderful hat like this for yourself. So here's my leftover wool I'm using, the Softy Baby Chunky. Fluffy Cloud White, and it's a bulky five. And I always like to pull from the inside of the ball to start my knitting. You might get a big chunk of it, but that's okay. And then you can just pop your yarn in a basket or a bowl, whatever you've got, and then it will prevent it from rolling all over the floor. I'll be using bamboo circular needles today in US 10 or six millimeter. And do make sure it's only 16 inches because that's the size you want for knitting hats. And of course some scissors to cut your yarn. And I like to use a dull ended darning needle with a nice large eye so we can sew in our ends. Start by leaving a tail and let's just make a circle to make our slip knot. There's our little circle and into the hole I can pull up with my thumb and you've made a slip knot. Let's add that onto our needle and slip it up. I do a knitted cast on and this is how I do it. I like to have good tension so I wrap around my pinky finger and up onto my index finger. And let's insert our right needle into the stitch on the left. We're going to wrap our wool around the back like we're going to do a knit stitch, but we don't take it off the needle. We've now made one. Again, into the stitch onto the right. Wrap around, but don't pull it off. We've now made two. Here's our third one. And four. I'm on 62. Here's number 63. And to make 64, this one is going to slide off and on to my left needle for my 64. Just go around and make sure you have 64 stitches before we start our next step. Okay, so just like you were knitting with two needles, we're going to just bring this so it's our yarn is hanging off the right needle. So it should be coming off the right side. The next thing you want to do is come in here and make sure this is not twisted. So let's just bring all of our knitting so it's coming into the middle. And let's just um, move this right up to the top here on this side. And just double check that it's all neat and formed into the middle. All right, so now the easiest way to join this together is just simply knit it together. And that's the easiest way to do it. And what we're doing here is we're doing a knit two, purl two ribbing. And we're gonna continue going around and around and around until we've got 10 inches. So let's get that started. Again, with tension, I wrap it around my finger and onto the index finger. And I've got my knitting up on the right and my knitting up on the left. So I'm just going to insert my right needle into my left needle, into my first stitch. We're gonna wrap around as we're going to do a knit stitch. And we're going to actually knit it. We've now joined. 
So let's come in and do one more knit. And now we're starting our pattern, knit two, purl two. We've done our knit two, pull forward, and we're gonna do the knit, sorry, we're gonna do the purl into the front of our stitch. There's our purl. And we're already on the front, so we're gonna do another purl. And now we have to knit again. So we're gonna bring this back to the back, and now we're going to knit two. And you can just keep working it up on the left needle to bring them around. And your first row will feel a little bit on the tighter side. Your next row won't be so tight. Okay, so we were on two knits. Starting the pearls, you've got to bring the wool or the yarn to the front. And you're knitting into the front of the stitch. Again, two pearls. There's one and two. Don't worry about those little loops that you might have seen there. That will all come into the purl stitch quite nicely, as you can see there. Carry on. Go all the way around, and you'll know when you're at the end because you'll see your last bit of yarn here that you started with. And I'm just about finished my first round, and I'm about to do my two last purl. And this is where we joined it in. And you can tell where your string is, so you know you're ready to start your next round. So we've done our last two purl, so back around, and we're ready for two more purl, oh, sorry, two more knits. And we're ready to go around again. And you're just going to keep going around and around and you can stop where your string is in the front here until you have 10 inches of ribbing. And you'll notice on this round that uh, it's not as tight and it's easier to knit. And if you lose track of where you are, not to worry, you can tell the pearls I've got the ridges on the top here and the knits there down here. So pearls with the ridges, knits down. Pearls with the ridges and knits down. So here we are. We're knitting a great big tube that has lots of stretch. So that's why I say it can fit many different sizes. Knitting the 10 inches, or that would be 25.4 centimeters, allows for about a 3 inch cuff, or that would be about 7 centimeters. So if you do want your hat to be a little bit longer or you want a larger cuff, then just keep knitting and make this 11 inches, which would be about 28 centimeters or even longer. And when you're measuring, you measure from the bottom of your needle, not the whole needle. And for me, I've got just a little bit more than 10 inches or approximately, oh, I don't know, about 10 and a half or 26 centimeters is what I've got. But you can knit the amount that you want. I always know where the start of my knitting is because I've got my little tail here. So I'm going to just follow this up to the top. And I know that this is where my start is. So I just use bobby pins. So I'm just going to pop a little bobby pin in here just to let me know that this is the start so I don't have to keep following up from the bottom here. It's closer to the top where I can see it. Let's start our first decrease row. To start our decrease, we're going to knit two together. So here's one knit and there's two knit. So we're going to come into our second knit with our needle and grab two stitches and we're just going to knit the two together. There we go. And now we've got to purl. So again, bring your yarn forward and we're going to purl 
the next two stitches. And that's our pattern around the whole round. Bring our wool to the back again and again, knit two together. Wool forward and purl two. Okay, so continue those, knit two together, purl two, till you get to your marker. I've just finished my last purl stitch. There's my marker to tell me I'm at the beginning of my round. So for the next rounds, so round two, three, and four, we're going to knit one, purl two, knit one, purl two, around the round. You're going to do that for rows two, three, and four. So we need to bring our wool to the back to start with our knit stitch. And here's our knit one. Wool forward and purl two. There's one and purl two. And that's our pattern around for this round. And like I said, we're going to do that for three rounds. So that's rounds two, three, and four. And I finished my round four. And I just keep moving my marker up to the top so I can see where it is. And now we're going to start decreasing this row again. Now our first stitch is a knit. So we're going to bring our wool, our yarn, back to the back. We're going to knit that first stitch. And now we've got two purls. We're going to bring that yarn back to the front again, and we're going to purl these two together. So into the first one and into the second one, purling two stitches together. So yarn around and let's take those both off the needle. Yarn to the back again, knit and repeat that pattern. Knit one and purl two together. Repeat that knit one, purl two together until you reach your marker back to the beginning of the round again. So I'll go around and I'll meet you there. And I've finished my decrease row. I'm back to my marker and my first stitch is a knit. And the next row for row six, we're going to go knit, purl, knit, purl, no decreasing, just knit, purl, knit, purl, all the way around the round. So starting with our knit, one knit, one purl. And repeat that pattern around. Knit one, purl one. And I'll see you when we get to the end there. And I'm back to my marker, finishing up that last row six. And now for row seven, we are going to decrease again. And we're going to actually knit two together. But we do have knit, purl, knit, purl. That's OK. So we're going to come in and we're going to insert our needle into this purl stitch and the knit stitch. And we're going to knit these two together. So through both of them and off. Again, the knit and the purl, taking them both together and knit them both together. Carry on, repeat that for the whole round knitting two together. And I'm at the end where I've knit two together all the way around. And now for our last round, we're just going to knit all the way around. And uh, it is a little tiny bit tight onto the nylon cording between the needles, but it's totally doable. So let's just go around and then just keep working up your stitches on your left needle so you can get them knitted and just go around and knit every stitch. Knit and knit. 
You'll just keep wanting to work it around so you can get your last stitch to the top so you can knit it. Keep and working it all around, bringing it around, and knit every one. And I know I'm finished because I'm back at my marker. And now we're ready to cut off the yarn. So let's leave about a 12 inch tail, or that would be, oh, about 31 centimeters, and cut off your yarn. Thread it onto your big eye darning needle. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna loop it through all our stitches that are on the needle. So we're on this side. We're going to start and thread through the left needle here. So just grab all your stitches and start threading them through. And there's the first three that we've just gone through. I can actually take my needle out of those ones. And let's just come around and grab the other ones. So here's my next one. And you can just follow along where your nylon cord is, making sure that you're grabbing your stitch like so and make sure you're not pulling it through where your loop is down here and make sure you are taking it from where it is wrapped around the cord where your actual stitch is and keep going around every time you've got three done you can pull it all the way through if you want if you find that easier and keep going around making sure you're grabbing all of them And here's our last three that are still on the needle. And then once you've got your last one off, let's just bring that off and we'll just take our needle right off. We can get rid of our little marker. And then we're just going to cinch this right up so it forms a nice tight little hole I'm going to bring my hand in underneath here so I can show you what I'm doing. So our yarn was coming around this way. So we're cinching up and we're going clockwise around. So once you've got that nicely cinched in nice and tight, then we know we have to keep going around this way. We're just going to pull it through all those loops again going all the way around, catching up all the loops, right all the way through. And now I'm gonna bring my yarn right down through that middle, and I'm just gonna to go to the other side, reverse the hat, so it's to the other side. And I'll just bring my hand in again, just so I can uh, tie it off here easily. So again, let's just come through some loops on the back side here. And then through that loop, come through. And let's do that one more time. Go through the next couple stitches here. And through the loop. Making sure you've got a good tie off. And then taking your yarn and just do a weaving of going in and out in and out. Do that through a few stitches and then I like to come back the other way and come back again in and out. And we're done. Give it a little pull, cut off your end, bring it to the other side again there's your top of your hat and your decreases and by all means if you want to add it pom-pom you go ahead i'll leave a link in my description box on how to make a pom-pom but i'm going to leave mine without and then all we're going to do is come down and weave in our bottom end and because the hat has a lot of stretch this way i am going to go up this way just to tie in this little end. And again, just weaving in and out. So go in and out. And I'll go up, give it a pull, 
and come back down in and out. A little bit of a tug both ways and cut it off. And then you just fold it up for your brim, depending on how much you want it to come up. And you have made yourself a gorgeous hat that will fit lots of different sizes. And the beauty of knitting in the round is that you have no side seam to sew in. And so every portion of the hat is beautiful. You don't have to worry about having this perfect sewn seam. It'll all look wonderful. Well, there we go. My hat is complete and ready for wearing. I hope that gave you some great ideas for maybe that last minute gift that's practical, easy, and quick to make. So until next time, happy holidays, keep safe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.